I'm going to talk about a new myth, which I trapped in, and probably a lot of people did. And if you search in Google, how long does it take to build a new habit? And you see a lot of uh, challenges, 30 day challenges or 21 days or this kind of stuff. And then you will be so happy to say, oh, I'll be, I'm going to do this thing. And then it will take 21 days or 30 days for me to be that person. And just the short answer is no, it's not 21 days and it's not 30 days. It takes a lot more. Basically, let's just go through the story of these 21 or 30 days. Where, where does this number come from? Maxwell Moss was a plastic surgeon in 1950s that he noticed something uh, very common uh, between all his patients. Let's say, for example, uh, if there was a nose job, he noticed that it takes minimum, that's the key word, minimum of 21 days for patient to accept changes in a face, in his or her face. So it takes minimum of 21 days to accept new changes. It doesn't, he didn't say it is actually 21 days. He said it takes minimum 21 days to accept it. So by saying that, it doesn't mean it takes 21 days for all of us to change a behavior or to build a new behavior. Basically, changing a behavior is more dif difficult because uh, definitely you need to change that bad behavior and then replace it with a new one, with a better one. So it takes a lot more. And then even if it's an absolutely new experience, 21 days or 30 days, maybe things are happening, but it doesn't mean we get there completely. It takes a lot more. And then people forget that minimum the keyword minimal and they change it to it takes 21 days to change or build a new habit and you see a lot of articles a lot of things on google which says it takes 21 days to build a new habit oh let's just take these 30 day challenges to build a new habit and i was one of those guys which took a lot of these 30 day challenges and i'm one of those guys which accept this myth and then go through these challenges and took a lot of them for example wake up every day at seven o'clock for me it was a big challenge and i took it for 30 days did it work no do an abs workout for 30 days did it work i did it but it didn't really work don't eat fast food for 30 days i did it it didn't work but it doesn't mean i'm eating fast food now but it didn't work for that 30 days or control my breathing because I was reading in a book that if I can control my breathing, I can control a lot of things. So did it work? No, it didn't. By saying controlling my breathing, I mean breathing silent and deep or small and silent or deep and silent. So the two different ways of uh, breathing or I don't know going to gym for 30 days and it will be a habit then I'm, I can go to gym every day running for 30 days the list goes on so I did a lot of these things and yes you learn a lot of things you experience a lot of things but that's not enough to build a habit I believe because through my experiences and my challenges I learned that it takes a lot more so I took another approach and then which I'm going to share with you guys. And I found there is another study. Flipper Lally is a health psychology researcher from uh, University College of London, which he did another observation. In his research, he, he noticed that it takes about two months for people to accept or build a new habit or behavior. And it's very, so you can't say it would be for everyone because of the circumstances, because of the behavior and person, it might take a lot more. Uh, and basically it could be from two months to six months and it depends on a person, depends how challenging is the behavior and what are you really trying to give up or what are you trying to just change? What are you trying to gain? It takes a lot more. And based on my experiences, which I'm trying to experience the, uh, some of new things that I'm trying to build some new habits 
it actually takes a lot more. And I think I'm a disciplined guy and I do a lot of things on discipline. And I, when I say I'm going to do it, I'll have integrity and I do it. But 30 day is not really the right answer. I've done a lot of challenges for 30 days. None of them stick with me. I don't know why, but they're not with me. And it took a lot longer, a lot longer. And again, even if you do it for six months, it doesn't mean it will stick to you because it should be behavior. It should be a part of your life. And probably you know that by saying behavior or habit, it means you are not going to think about it. Habit is when your brain doesn't think and your body does it automatically without thinking, or you do it without thinking, that's a habit. So in order to make habit, so you should do it enough until your body and your brain and every part of your, I don't know, your soul, uh, body or everything, just accept it and does it as a daily, as a daily habit or just routine. So 30 days is not right. So I'm going through some of my 30 day challenges uh, in a future videos and I'm going to tell you what challenges did I take? What did I learn? Was I successful or not? And am I continuing them or not? So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just talk about all of them and then say what happened and what did I learn over the la over the 30 days of doing that challenge? What is the benefit of doing it? And what you're really going to get with 30 day challenges? Yes, you, there are a lot of cool things, but it's not again, as I'm saying, it's not enough to build a new habit. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your ideas and comments uh, under this video and just let me know what do you think. Did you have the same experience or you just built a habit in 21 days? And if you did it, just let us know how did you do that because it's very important for me. I'm trying to build a lot of new habits. Well, my current goal is to build like probably one or two good new habit per year because I think it is not really possible or it's it takes a lot of time if it's worth if it's a very good habit it takes a lot of time to just build it it just take a lot of effort to put it in your daily life so just let me know what do you think about this video what is your experiences what are your thoughts and then please don't forget to subscribe i'm going to put a lot of cool videos around this topic soon